My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, talking to the faithful of the Regina Chelly on Ascension Sunday last May 21st at St. Peter's Square, Pope Francis focused on how Jesus in heaven is always there for us before the Father as our advocate before the Father to make intercession for us all. The Pope said, Jesus is always with us, looking at us, and He always lives to make intercession for us. As He promised during His Last Supper discourse to His disciples, as we have it in today's Gospel. Jesus has shared, taught, to his disciples many things before leaving them. He knew beforehand about the dangers that may befall his followers in the world. He knew that the world was too cunning and deceptive and if caught off guard, the followers can easily slide back to their own ways. Hence, With the high priestly prayer, he addressed directly to his father. In this prayer, Jesus not only prays with the father for his disciples, becoming unity, becoming perfectly one, but he speaks of his glory and the glory of his father also. For sure that the disciples did not understand what Jesus said at that time about the glory of his Father. That is the glory of the way of the cross. But Jesus promised that when he left, he would send the gift from the Father, the Holy Spirit. The one who explained everything what he had told them. But in the cross and with the cross, Jesus gave his Father the supreme honor and glory through his obedience and, and willingness to go to the mystery of the incarnation and the cross for our redemption and the redemption of the world. This is really a great love of God for each of us and for the world. As a result, through the cross of Jesus, we see a new way of love, a love that is unconditional, sharing, sacrificial, and generous beyond comprehension. A love leads to eternal life with Jesus, as he said. This is eternal life that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Truly, my dear brothers and sisters, the eternal life Jesus mentioned is more than simply endless time. This is the life that has the life of God, the Father within us, His peace joy and unconditional love no matter who we are unfaithful or sinners jesus prays holy father keep them in your name which you have given me you have given me that they may be one even as we are one so my dear brothers and sisters Jesus loves his disciples and prays for them because he was sent to go away and leave them behind with the meaningful and beautiful message. Love one another, be unity, and go out to proclaim the good news 
and baptize the people in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He promised to send the gift of the Father, the Holy Spirit, to help the disciples and of course all of us to understand all He had told them before. That is why our destiny is to live in friendship with Jesus and His heavenly Father. When he affirmed that the vocation of Christian is precisely to remain friends of the Lord. So may Lord Jesus, especially the gift of truth, the Baraklit, the advocate of Jesus and the Father, help this one of us to experience Jesus' words and his life here and now that we can seek unity of heart, mind, and will with the Heavenly Father and unity of love and peace with others in family, in community, in organization in order to become His disciples and to have His eternal life. Amen.